Right. Welcome hey. everyone. This is episode 47 and we are not even going to waste any time because we're going to go right back <laughs> <laughs> and we welcome uh, Bernie Diamond Hello. and his partner um, Aaron Barnes and we thank you guys for taking the time coming out sharing your story everyone yes. listen to episode 46 so please don't mm -hmm. miss that and now we're going to continue and find out what Bernie did to change his life around mm -hmm. and to start this amazing new company and tell us all about it we want to hear all about yeah. it yes yes too. so yeah dig right into it <laughs> mm -hmm. um so Aaron and I, we uh, so I've been in orthopedics for about, I personally for about ten years, nine ten years. Orthopedics. Orthopedics okay, is perfect. dealing with uh, musculoskeletal types of issues. Both of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yep. So get like bones, like fractures and whatnot. So I worked at Stryker for a company called Stryker for five years. I was a foot and ankle specialist, managed Dallas, um, and so we did. We worked in the operating room with physicians, where um, like those car accidents that would happen at two or three in the morning. Someone ankle, a fractured an ankle or broke a bone. We were in the operating room with the physicians, and we were working alongside with them, sharing with them how to use our instrumentation doing surgery. Which mm -hmm. is what instrumentation? So if you see someone who has a plate or screws in yes. their body, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those are usually some, there's some companies. The so striker was one of the bigger ones. And so if they fractured their ankle and they need a plate on there to put the bones back together, we would be in the surgery with the doctors. And we'd be showing them how that we would describe, explain to them how to use our instruments, or our plates to fix that fracture. So, so the surgeon doesn't know how to do that. The on surgeon, his own? absolutely. <laughs> so the surgeon, I, was like, hey, <laughs> so, you know. I told surgeons how to do everything. No, no. So they know how to do the surgery. They go to residency and fellowship. It's extra, extra, extra training. But um, there's different systems out there. Mm -hmm. And so the system that we use was a system through Striker. And so we would, they're, they're focusing so much on the surgery that they're, they're certain size drill bits to drill screws in or certain size plates. And so wow. our job was to be the expert in what size drill bits, <laughs> screws, plates. Unbelievable. All those yeah. Who and knew? So, uh, I had no I idea. Know. Who would have thought? <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> the mechanics behind that. Yeah. Unbelievable. There's a, there's a lot. It was very, very involved. And uh, so I did that for it's about. It's like if you know when someone go, okay. Whoever is going to tell them what screw to use, I want to meet that person yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was us. Wow. And so I did that. And then I left that, did some consulting for a little while. And then I, uh, I went on as a vice president for a company and we made spine and extremity implants. So implants for the spine, implants for the foot and ankle. And then um, I did that for a little while, but I wanted to do something different. I, uh, Aaron and I had met, and Aaron, I'll let you tell a little bit about your story. Yeah. I've been talking to them for a yeah, long yeah. time. I'm, I'm very easy, very simple. Born and raised in Houston. Joined the Navy at 18. I did uh, eight years in the Navy as a eight surgical years. tech. Eight years. Wow. Eight years, and I worked in the operating room, so I was a surgical tech. So basically for me, it was a, it was an easy transition from the Navy into m the medical device world. And so I got out in 2004. And I started with a company called Arthrex. We did sports medicine, orthopedic implants. And that was my first run on it. You know, it's kind of like your interview is like <laughs> five, six interviews. And then they finally pick you yeah. up. And so once you're in, though, you're in. And so from there, you just transition through. And so um, from 04, I got into spine. I did sports medicine. I kind of did wound care, biologics, everything. And then in 2012, I was like, well... I'm seeing all these companies and distributorships making all these, you know, crazy money and mm -hmm. they're paying their reps nothing. And so mm -hmm. I, in my mind, I was like, well, I can do the same thing they're mm -hmm. doing. And so that's kind of how, you know, at that time, 2012 biologics were really starting to boom. And I was like, you know, I left a $200,000 paying job and started on my own, started my own business. Wow. And so through that process, that's really where Bernie and I met um through biologics and we were thinking the same thing we're like man why don't why don't we do this together and help prevent people having surgery because oh. we were doing surgery oh. well, what if we could help prevent surgery so that's that's kind of where we transitioned yeah so we uh when Aaron and I met he has a big distributorship in Houston and he distributes to multiple different types of products specifically biologics um to different physicians in Houston and so, again, like Aaron was saying, we'd see the worst of the worst through people who were, were getting. So, so, let me backtrack. Surgery is the worst case scenario, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Nobody wants to do surgery mm -hmm, right. unless it's a cosmetic procedure. Very few people <laughs> want to do surgery. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, 
we were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess a cosmetic people want to do that, but um, you know, when it comes down to it, we're seeing you know, a lot of times a, a primary surgery, which is the first surgery, doesn't work for whatever reason, and then a patient has to go back in for a secondary revision, is what they call mm-hmm. it. They have to go in and revise something that went wrong. It doesn't always happen, but it does happen, and so. Aaron and I, we, we just connected. We became really close friends. And we knew from everything we had seen, we wanted to, we knew there was a, a different solution. And so we didn't know what, really what that was. He was working on the biologics. I was working on the side of it. some biologics, more hardware, which is the plates and screws. And we knew we wanted to create something that created a solution for patients that was non-invasive, meaning non-surgical, um, if it could be helped. So we started coming up with, we started working on kind of come up with what that looked like. And so we um, we were knowing that we're both not physicians. We need to kind of figure out how do we do it. So we'd kind of trying to put our mind together with who could we talk to that really understood regenerative medicine and longevity. So regenerative medicine being um, right now the hot the hot kind of word is stem cells, right? right. People are hearing a lot about it. And uh, but you know we were still limited on our knowledge of it. So. We had connected with a physician that I'd known for many, many years, and we uh, I'd followed him on social media, and this guy was just, he was a rock star. This guy knew so, regenerative medicine. Like, it was just amazing to watch him, to, to listen to his, his, anything on social media he was doing, um, and then he understood longevity. And so living longer and living younger, right. but, you know, different ways. So he was doing stuff through plant-based nutrition. And you know we're all about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So are y'all awesome. plant based? No, I'm not. But, like, mm-hmm. but not I'm all. all about like we're about not like surgery and not like yeah. me- was, like medicine. Yeah. yeah, I was just about to ask if it's is this a being from Europe like we do medicine totally different than America does it, sure. and I'm wondering if you what you're doing is that like frowned upon a little bit? Is it uh, getting no. more and more like? mainstream now is it I, i'm trying to figure it out because it's my biggest thing with america sure <laughs> yeah. from europe yeah. like over the, medication the over medications yeah. the, I mean, the you, s- you, rushing to surgery all of the, the above so i love what you're doing sure, yeah. this is sure. awesome <laughs> the funny thing you you brought up europe is they're about 20 years ahead of us right the only reason they are is because we have an fda here uh, and, and they want their money and so they restrict a lot of the things we could be doing. Okay. Um, and so they they put limitations on you. I was wondering how that worked. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah. And I mean, is it, I mean, I don't know if this is. This a, is all FDA. Everything we Besides we if FDA, mm-hmm. I, it's probably not a popular thing I'm about to say, but I don't really care. It makes me really <laughs> mad. <laughs> it's my show. <laughs> yeah. I will say what I want. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like the overprescribing is because the drug companies give mm. kickbacks to doctors. Yeah. And so. Yep. I mean, why wouldn't they prescribe all this stuff? And if you're not smarter yourself, or not even not smarter, but not informed, informed, or you're just educated. going yeah. going to a doctor believing they know everything. I well, mean, when I was a lot younger, I thought they knew everything. And then I'm going, yeah. wait, wait a minute, something's yeah. not right. And there are great doctors out there that would never do that, but there's a lot that do. That was that was something so. that, and you, I think you'd agree with me on this one, that was something that when I got into surgery, um, when I when I went to the orthopedic company, I did not know anything about it. What I thought was just like you said, if a doctor, if someone is a physician, they know everything. Mm-hmm. And I was very very surprised to know that there are some physicians that should not be operating. They're yeah. horrendous surgeons. Oh, I mean, they're what a lot of people call a hack. hack. Yeah, um, I mean, it's one of the crazy things. And then there's some physicians who. You know, they don't see patients as a patient. They see them as a dollar sign. It's uh-huh. the craziest thing. Yep. And I mean, like I said, I, I think Aaron would agree with me on on this is that it, it's really eye opening. And it's and so and that led us to where we are today. Um, and before I say that, to touch on what you said, the epidemic is crazy because what ends up happening is, um, you know, the U.S. is one of the wealthiest countries, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And one of the most powerful countries. But the crazy thing is, we're also one of the sickest countries. And it mm-hmm. all comes down to that dollar. Right, patients are really experiencing a lot of pain. It's debilitating pain, and it's so sad. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, I mean, and it's, so it's unbelievable. At home, people, doctors actually prescribe. Like they look at the patient, and then if they have to prescribe a medicine, they do it. But they also do alternative medication first. They really care about the person. What yeah. will help that person the most? Not how much money can I get? Yeah. From. yeah. 
And, and it's the crazy thing. Crazy. And so, no, I mean, that's the crazy part about it is it comes down to that dollar sign for a lot of positions. And it's unfortunate because there are a number of them out there that are awesome positions. Right. Yeah. I call but, it bedside manner is yes. amazing. They really care. And, and you're starting to see a lot of patients now that are starting to really pay attention to what's going on. I love that. Yeah. Like that so what you are doing is that in yeah, how does that work? Going anyway. that yeah. way, I want to know everything. Absolutely. So we we started a company called Regevity. Yeah. So how long ago did you? Start? So we lo- we'd been working it for about uh, about 15, 18 months, but okay. we launched in January of this year. Okay. And we came up with the name Regevity with one of our physicians, and the whole thought process behind it is regeneration and longevity. Mm-hmm. So regeneration of okay. of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, bones, uh, and then longevity. How do we live longer and live younger? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And so, y'all are really young. <laughs> you two I don't want to hear it. Y'all are too young. But that was, we uh, we had, we worked with a gentleman, uh, Doug Wan, and he was uh, just brought a lot of. He opened our eyes to a lot of it, and what we realize is Asian. Uh, correct, Korean guy. Mm-hmm. All right, Korean guy. Korean. Yeah, Korean. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Doug yeah. is just he's brilliant. And um, we, in our thought process, we didn't really, I didn't really understand in all transparency and what real stem cell therapy was. What I'd been exposed to was what was called amniotic fluid, which is uh, a preconsenting mother, uh, pre-screen, the, the fluid that's around the baby. Um, there's lots of anti-inflammatory properties. There's growth factors, there's proteins, there's cytokines. There's all the healthy, good stuff that keeps the baby in a good place. Um, once the C-section happens, all that fluid, um, it gets processed, DNA is scraped from it. Aaron, you can sc- correct me if I'm saying it wrong. No, you're good. And, uh, <laughs> and so, so ba- yeah, like tissue banks will go to hospitals and get contracts just to collect the placenta and the, the growth. Because yep. literally you could peel the sheets off, you know, this the layers off of the placenta. It contains so many growth factors, nutrients that they yeah. can process down and then they can sell it. And there's, it's what? great stuff. The, the umbilical cord too, right? Yep, umbilical cord thing. is umbilical another. Cord too. Yeah, there's uh, lots of growth factors in there, and so the prob the, the problem with it is that in that setting, right when it the, the mom's there in the umbilical cord, right when it goes to baby to mom, there's tons of stem cells in there. But when you have to scrape the DNA off and process it, that's when you lose all the viable cells. <clears throat> so now you have a growth factor. And the problem and what, I mean, it makes me, it gets a hot button for me. What ends up happening is right now we're seeing, starting to see a lot of people pushing quote unquote stem cells. You're seeing chiropractors push it. You're seeing these physicians push it. Um, And what the public doesn't know, just like we were saying a second ago, most people, they trust the physician. If it's a chiropractor or an MD or a DO, their doctor, family Mm -hmm. practice, doctor, well, the doctors, they must know. And what ends up happening is these, these physicians are taking this amniotic fluid or umbilical cord and the FDA, there was extensive amounts of study and done on it. And there has been factual, it's been factually shown that amniotic fluid contains zero stem cells. None. And no live cells. Either. No live cells. So it's dead tissue. And you're paying for that. And you're paying, paying their marketing three three stem to cells. $5,000 for no, injections. Ten, even 10000 That's costing them $400, $500. It comes a little vile and it makes me mad. We really are trying to draw that line in the sand to really yeah. educate patients that if you want live cells so here's the deal let me kind of back we, okay. we call them out too you, do. you call, oh, yeah. I love yeah. it yeah. I'm so out. excited right now yeah. I love when you call people out like <laughs> so that so, oh my gosh especially this kind of stuff yeah. I just find it so horrible it's right. messing with people's lives messing with people's yeah. And it's um, an expensive. Health, you're right. It's expensive. Yeah. People, it's people I mean, being it's greedy. Yeah. Greedy, yeah. That's exactly yes. right. It's exactly yeah. right. It always and goes back to it. And it makes me so mad. <laughs> so, then, so the new button, new hot button for people is umbilical cord because everyone's being told bank your cord blood. Uh-huh. So, you know, there's stem cells in there. Mm-hmm. And what they did is, again, they have to, they, after it gets processed, you have to scrape the DNA off of it um, and, so that it's not transferred from one patient to the next. And what they sh- they've done extensive testing because we had people approach us in our clinic saying, "Hey, you can use umbilical cord. Um, it, it would make the process significantly easier to be able to use umbilical cord." But after extensive testing, they what they did is they found that once the it's it's this flu- it's called Wharton's jelly. Okay. That's where all the stem cells are in the umbilical cord. What they did is after they've scraped the DNA off and they've preserved it and then they cryopreserve it, right? They freeze it. Mm-hmm. What they do is you thaw it out. It takes about 10, 10 minutes to thaw out these little vials. What they did after doing testing on it, they tested if it was live or dead. So what they're testing is see if the cell is live <clears throat> or if it's dead. 
what they were not testing for is viability, meaning how mm-hmm. viable was it? So take the mm-hmm. example, if you look at a 18 year old, 38 year old, 78 year old, and someone who's 108 years old, they're all technically alive. Oh, uh, yeah. but, but how viable is that, yeah. that 108 yeah. year old? And it's and huh. what's crazy is you have people are going and saying, and it's it it makes me mad. It, it really it's a hot button for me. <laughs> that's that that's one of the reasons we started the company because we're okay. like, look at all these jokesters yeah. like charging people ten grand. You're like, and it's a chiro. A chiropractor can't even do injections. Right. He's a salesman. Right. So it's right. like, okay, so you're hiring a nurse practitioner charging ten Gs, and then they leave and you never see them again. Now, and I'll say this: with so, that being said, I want to make sure and say this before. There's like, there's a place. There's for a it. place for chiros. There's a place for absolutely. Um, and there's more chiros that are not doing it. I don't want to give a bad name to chiros because I, yeah. I have some really good friends with chiropractors and they do great work. Uh, but the problem is, is that it, it's, it's not everybody can do stem cell therapy. It is yeah. specialized. And the only way that you're going to get real live cells is from your own body. And I will say this to backtrack a little bit. So what a stem cell is, it's a mesenchymal cell, which is an MSC. Mm-hmm. The way I describe a stem cell to patients when we're doing consultations is... Remember the chameleons? They can yeah, change into yeah. anything. A stem cell, an MSC, is a cell that can turn into bone. It can turn to ligaments. It can turn to oh tendons. Gosh. It can turn to anything. Cartilage. Cartilage. Our whole body, we have fle- they're called free-floating stem cells through our whole body. So when we get a cut when we're younger mm-hmm. or in whatever, our body goes and those cells would differentiate. And it'll switch into any cell automatically because our whole body always wants to create balance, equilibrium at all times. As we age... We become deficient in nutrients. Mm-hmm. We become deficient in cells, and that's why we get gray hair. My son reminds me of getting gray hair. Is <laughs> <laughs> um, or knees, no hair. Yeah, right. no. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's wisdom. It's yeah. wisdom. Yeah. That's right. That's what I tell my son. It's wisdom, <laughs> and you're grounded. So. <laughs> don't ever said that again. <laughs> that's right. um, but but to, you know, or the only way that we can do that is we take what's called bone marrow. Uh, from your body mm-hmm. bone marrow there's two places that the body's 100 percent concentration is in the sternum and then in your ilium your mm-hmm. pelvic area and so what we found is we can spine no, the spine no. no the pelvic is just right right your below head. but the, it's yeah, the not in the, the bone marrow correct okay. correct okay. and so there but the body has cells throughout the i mean there's bone marrow through your whole body there's certain concentrations like you take it from your heel from your tibia which is your shin your hip um, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of places, right? Like, yeah. ow. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's all right. It can be a little tender there, but we numb up our patients when we do it. Yeah. But, uh, so what we do is we we harvest or we take this the bone marrow out. We filter it through this little filtration system. We can centrifuge it. So we take, if we're doing one joint, we take 60 cc's of bone marrow. It looks like it's blood. It's the same color of it, but there's lots of stuff in there, growth factors. There's lots of things in there, proteins, and there's also stem cells. We take the 60 cc's of the cells of this bone marrow. We can concentrate 60 cc's worth of bone marrow stem cells down to 5 cc's. And so we have this filtration, unique way of doing it. We also have a really unique way where we do it different than anyone else. We can pull out three to 500% more stem cells um, in the way we harvest it. And so we concentrate those stem cells down, or that bone marrow down in cells. Then we take it and under ultrasound or X-ray imaging, we mm-hmm. can actually directly inject it into the area of injury. That's very important too. Very important because chiropractors won't have a C arm or X-ray in their in their office. Right. So they're just blindly. They don't know where Is that, that dangerous. Need, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, not even that, but it's not going to work if it's not in the right area. Right. And you just paid ten thousand or five thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. So that's it's, a problem. So, so if, if you're. Is this. Can this be covered by insurance or no? No. So insurance not is right not now. covered. Yes, so they don't want to cover yeah. it. Yeah. Right is it yeah. expensive? So stem mm-hmm. cell therapy can go anywhere from 3000 up to $20,000, depending on who you're going through and whatnot. Wow. Everyone has their own pricing for it. Right. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where um, when you're you're someone who's being charged, it's only costs you three or 400 bucks, and you're just quickly injecting it, you're, you're not really taking care of the patient. What ends up right. happening is... Um, just you know, so in umbilical cord and in amniotic fluid, there are there's anti-inflammatory properties. So whatever ends up happening, and typically our knees are the most common thing to go for whatever reason, knees and your back. And so whenever you have inflammation, people take anti-inflammatories or NSAIDs, mm-hmm. right? Um, like Aleve or ibuprofen or something like that, and it just reduces inflammation. And so when you take something mm-hmm. like that. Um, it's reducing the inflammation, which has been proven study over study over study have shown that you take an anti-inflammatory for more than 10, 14 days. It can cause liver problems. Ulcers. It can cause ulcers. Oh my gosh, she is the biggest. I mean, we weren't allowed to take 
one Advil if we didn't have a headache for more than 30 minutes. Good job, Mom. <laughs> Good I have job. a 14 year old that right. seriously has yeah. never taken one pill. Good. Good. Yeah. Thank never God. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, I am She's just so the healthy. biggest freak, though. She's but like, how long have you had that headache? I'm like, where's? <laughs> <laughs> it's been two weeks. <laughs> nope, not long enough. No. <laughs> I eat an apple. They say yeah. if you yeah. eat an apple, it helps. <laughs> there you go. An yeah. apple a day. Yeah. An apple a day. And you're supposed to chew it, and that takes away the headache. We're very every home remedy. I love it. First. That's the way to go. First. White yeah. paste, job, white mask. Mom. White mask. <laughs> yeah. Job, mom. But, but I, I, yeah, but I've started acupuncture and stuff like on my low back because I have major low back problems. How but are you liking that? I've been wanting to try that out. I love it. Yeah. Uh huh. I do. And I, my doctor, who I went to recently, he's a, he does the Asian medicine or the Western. Is that right? Mm-hmm. No. What is it called? Asian. Yeah. Eastern. That, Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, I'm wrong. <laughs> East West. You were close. No. It was Thank one of those you, directions. Spider. Korean. I, Korean. Yeah. No, no. He's a Asian medicine? <laughs> Thai, Thai medicine. Thai. Thai. Whoa. Yeah. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like when I go because of I think years and years and years of dancing, they're always like, "Well, surgery." I'm like, "No, nope, not gonna yeah. do that." Um, yeah. You're so young. Too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. They're like back surgery. I'm like, "Nope, not doing nope. that." So I do a lot, a lot of yoga, a lot of stretching, um, acupuncture, um, just anything other than that that I'll try. And if I'm good about it, I can feel better. Yeah. If I really go often, you should come That's in good. for an evaluation with us. Yeah, seriously. You yeah, should. just to Quite take a look at it. Yeah, because it's. I mean, my back. You should come painful. film it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Put it I know. on the YouTube. That uh, would be very cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, very field cool. trip. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that'd be fun. Let's do yeah. that. So we uh, so we, we you know there's anti-inflammatory properties in there and um, it, you'll see some benefit to it, mm-hmm. but in any medicine, there's not a physician. I don't know any physicians, at least that I've worked with, and I've worked with, you know, hundreds that would tell you that surgery is guaranteed. It's just not right. the yeah. same thing when you're using amniotic fluid, or umbilical cord, or even when we're doing stem cells. We never tell a patient this is guaranteed to work. Right. Yeah. But when you're when a patient is expecting live cells to go in there and start regenerating cartilage, um, you know, at that particular point, and it doesn't three or four months later, the excuse is, well, we didn't guarantee it was going to work, and you can get, they got out. So, but at least you got the real deal. Yeah. And and with us, we have a different approach. Yeah. I mean, our four, four pillar approach is we don't just bring you in and give you a stem cell treatment. We have a whole rehab team. Yeah. We have our own supplementation line that we created to extend the life of the stem cells. And that's all this stuff. Yeah. Yes, we brought you some samples. What, yeah. what is it? So we, uh, like Aaron was saying, we were, so our approach is really unique. There's no one in the country that has an approach like ours. So we approach it from four, like a, we call it a four pillar approach, mm-hmm. right? create a foundation <clears throat> first is regeneration so we use real stem cells from your body your body's not going to reject your own cells we immediately it takes about an hour to do the, the process and procedure so we take it right from your body and put it right back ask in ask a really quick question just so i understand no. it no, <laughs> no question no question not allowed again um this is for injuries like what you're doing is is this for anyone to use or this is when you have injuries or you have it's a great question uh, mm-hmm. a surgery that went wrong like we have said before yeah. before people go back in or like what is the whole thing that you are no that's a great question so anybody who's having any kind of injuries at all so if you have injuries mm-hmm. like acute injuries if you have a meniscus tear if you have an acl mm-hmm. you know whatever it is or if you have joint uh, pain joint pain it doesn't have right? to be an injury no Ooh. it could just be arthritic well, right? i was just gonna ask yeah that. arthritis like, I have a friend old who has age. severe arthritis yep so. yeah arthritis any kind of soft tissue um our what we really really want because here's the deal what ends up happening is you know if someone needs surgery they need surgery and we would do an evaluation we really evaluate the patient if they need surgery we're not going to tell them hey come do stem cells right we're going to tell them you this is not going to work you need to do surgery but the way it's always worked is so a patient i'm using joint pain as a pro as an example they typically go to their orthopedist and the orthopedist will inject them with uh, like steroid. Cor- steroid or cortisone uh-huh. injection. Cortisone, right? so bad for you. Yeah, it's so there's been studies that have shown that more than you know one it's or two is okay, but it becomes right. toxic to mm-hmm. your ligaments, tendons. It, it starts to destroying it. Um, so it's, every, it's all bad. That's why you can only do two or three a year. Yeah, mm-hmm. how it's, crazy is it's that? It's the yeah. insane thing. But right? that was the only option. It was cortisone or surgery. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now here we are in the middle, yeah. right? Giving and, you and how do option. you look at the athletes? Like, you know that they're hurt, oh, so man. they have to yeah. play the next mm-hmm. game. You know they're pumping it's them crazy. full of this crap. Yeah. So, so we, we've we actually worked. We've had a UFC fighter we worked with, Bellator fighter. Um, we just worked on it. Yeah, too. 
And then uh, we worked on a world champion boxer and, I mean, amongst the everyday people. Right. Um, because just like Aaron was saying, right, the, there's the anti, there's the cortisone steroid injection. And then there's a stuff called hyaluronic acid, which is, if you think of like motor oil, Lubri motor oil keeps everything in fluid, the fluid in your engine going. Uh, lubricate. It lubricates, yeah. it lubricates your joints, but it's not, there's no regenerative properties in there. It's more of a Band-Aid. Yeah. Um, and then it's been that patients have had to be stuck with anti-inflammatories that are bad for you or surgery, or they live with the pain or what ends up happening is they're so scared of surgery that they end up, it, it becomes debilitating. Patients mm -hmm. will start not working out. They'll mm -hmm. start gaining weight. They start getting to where they can't pick up their grandkids. And these are factual experiences we yeah. have yeah. every time we do consultations. Yeah. They can't pick up their kids. They can't work out. They can't walk. They start getting it and it becomes depressive to them. And so wow. what, when we created Rejevity, we knew, based on the fact that we knew what surgery was after 10 years of doing it, we knew that there had to be an in-between, mm -hmm. right? And so when we drew the line in the sand, we knew that we wanted to use real stem cells, but more than that, we needed to figure out how do we create something that creates a real solution. And that's where Doug Juan really helped us put these protocols in place. And so we did regeneration with stem cells. Nutrition plays a vital role. And I knew, I think it's common sense. I think anybody, any one of us will say, okay, if you want to gain weight, eat this. If you want to lose weight, eat that. If you want to lower your cholesterol, stop eating this. <laughs> um, but the big thing that most people don't know is how do you do it, right? Mm -hmm. So we have, a, we have a nutritionist, a dietitian on staff. And as we know, we become deficient as we age. Mm -hmm. Every, I mean, micronutrients, we start losing all of that. It's just the way it is. So, you know, over the course of time, we develop what's called arthrosclerosis in our arteries. Arthrosclerosis is simply plaque buildup. It's the fatty plaque buildup. And so over the course of years and years of years of eating crap, um, you start getting this, this <laughs> that if you look at the arteries, it's like a straw, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and blood flows the way blood flows. But when you start getting uh, arthrosclerosis or this plaque buildup and closes the artery, uh that's when your blood pressure starts skyrocketing. Because again, blood is going to flow at the rate it's going to flow. But when it has a smaller hole to flow through, everything yeah. starts elevating, right? Hypertension, Hypertension, heart attacks. Yeah. And that's where you see patients who they're try, they're, their heart is trying to get blood flowing to it, but because they can't get enough blood flow, we have strokes. We have heart attacks. People, Gosh. patients have aneurysms. They get blood clots, right? Those and are so, so scary. It is so scary. Yeah. So over the course of time, when you have so much... Uh, Wait, blood clots cause that? Aneurysm? So yeah. yeah, so think about it. If you yeah, I don't know. know. Like, no, no, okay. no, 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 it's okay. Well, it's, it, the, what are you gonna say? No. So if you think about it, th think of if this was an artery, this cup, and you have no, and it gets so clogged with plaque, mm -hmm. crap, that there's no blood flowing to it. If if you think of a type two diabetic patient, if you've heard of them getting their toes cut off, they get their yes. feet cut off, that's because they have no blood supply. Their what? their their legs start, their extremities start dying. My dad had a gout. Very, yeah. very badly from, uh, he also had, from, very had diabetes. Yeah, yeah, from diabetes. That yeah. was always a concern, actually, mm -hmm. that eventually, mm -hmm. if he had lived, that may have mm -hmm. been something. Yeah. Whitley, this is Gino talking to you. <laughs> to I know, I was healthier. like, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true stuff. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, same thing. If you don't have blood flow, blood flow is the most important part of everything. And so what we realize is that, okay, Putting stem cells in a patient and their joints is easy. We know how to do that part, but how do we create a true solution? And what we wanted to do is we wanted to, when they're going to put the cells in those concentrated cells into a joint, right? We wanted to put them in a perfect environment. And how do we put them in a perfect environment? Blood flowing is the perfect environment, but not just blood flow. We need dense micronutrients, right? We need those nutrients we are, are deficient in. We need to put those back in the body. And so what we have seen is that if we can increase whole food, plant based, more of a diet, we're not. Our goal is not to make everyone plant based or vegan. That has that is not our goal. What yeah. we want to do is we want to put those cells in a perfect environment. And so we we have our nutritionist, and what she does is she puts new programs together for each one of our patients. They're they're customized, mm -hmm. and so the patients are eating more stuff like green leafy vegetables, whole mm -hmm. foods, legumes, you know, because and then we're pulling certain foods out. Um, dairy is a food that we put out. Dairy is yeah. for any of you guys listening or you guys are doing it. Dairy is horrendous for you. It well, causes my husband that. Yeah. is going to, I oh, yeah. It. He goes, it's the only, he says, we are the so only bad. living, what, what? We're say the it? only living. We're the only living. Uh, whatever that eats, drinks another species. Yes, yeah. that's what he says it's all the, the time. It's the truth. It's horrible. It. Oh my god. So it's so it's the most 
disgusting thing. So the FDA allows. Heard that so I'm a, many mm-hmm. times. I'm gonna ruin y'all's milk stuff right here. <laughs> okay. so, I, don't really, I don't really. Okay. Know. Yeah. So, I'm not drinking disgusting. my glass of milk before bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hold coconut, on. Coconut, coconut I was gonna milk. say something, but I'm sipping my chocolate milk right now. I ice cream. I, okay, I love I, chocolate milk. I do eat ice cream and yogurt. Well, frozen yogurt. So yeah, <laughs> it's all. So just so you know, <laughs> the like, FDA allows stop. a certain amount of pus. In ah, yes. what? Oh. That's what Patrick Patrick told talks about. It's true this. story. Uh-huh. It's true story. So we're again, we're oh the only gosh, species in this. the world that drinks mm-hmm. another species milk. milk yep. And that's when people are like, "I'm lactose intolerant." We, it's because your body's <laughs> you're rejecting. Not, yeah, you're exactly. not supposed to drink milk. So, what? Yeah. yeah, it's a true story. So. Yeah. Um, so oh dairy gosh, stuff we pull out, it, it causes inflammation in our <laughs> intestines and everything. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of hormones in there. Yeah. That milk is meant for a calf, a hundred uh, hundreds of pound calf to get to a thousand pounds, not for meant for human consumption. And so, uh, <laughs> so there's certain. With, with these mind <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> get off so my show right now. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my show. Just, the no, is I like it. Just I think it's yeah, so I'm interesting, but I've heard it. I've <laughs> heard it. I've heard it. Sad. <laughs> same thing with same thing. Don't kick me out of this studio right now. But uh, the same thing with meat. Meat is. I just had someone food. tell me that too yeah. on the phone. I, yep. thought, I thought you were gonna say I just had some meat. This no, no, no. I am <laughs> about to eat a pork chop. That's tonight. right. <laughs> yeah, Not really. I have it's left literally. Over. Yeah, well, but, but, but it's here's rotting the thing. In your, he said it. It takes yeah. a longer time to digest, and it's like our intestines are so much longer. I you got to tell him about the uh, Netflix. What the health? But, uh, have you seen that? Patrick, was it the? What's the documentary, called? What yes. the Hell? Oh, no, I don't know that one. You gotta what watch it. You gotta watch So just watch it, and we'll talk more about it the next time if you ever Please. Yes. Yeah, 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 no, I'm I learning. Eat, I, eat, yeah. I eat a lot of fish. I yeah, fish is horrible yeah. for you, too. I hate what? fish. Fish is horrible for you. So the reason you what eat fish. What do y'all fish, eat? So the reason yeah, you eat fish. Yeah, what do you guys eat? So, Plants. Yeah, so Plants. here's the deal. Our goal, I want to make sure and, and say this for again. For real now, like, what do you eat? Our goal is not to convert. We have no we're not trying to convert anyone to plant based. It's just not. It's just the facts. No, I'm just so curious. Yeah, yeah like, do y'all so, eat steak? No, 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 <laughs> no. meat, no dairy, no, meat, no nothing. No you don't dairy. Eat steak. So my biggest Have you had no steak? processed food. I, I know, Aaron, I did. Tell me about your breakfast. What did you eat? Um, usually, I put a smoothie together before I hit the door. Chia seeds, you know, spinach. I heard those are amazing. Oh, for you. So everything. Chia seeds. So, so and it keeps you full. I mean, lunch. What do you? Eat? Um, lunch typically. Um, what I. I meal prep a lot, so mm-hmm. we'll have lentils. Mm-hmm. You know, we still do rice. You can still do your, just no meat. But no turkey? Oh, my gosh. No yeah. turkey. Okay, so what do you do so instead sad. of that? Peppers. and uh, There's a oh, lot of, there's peppers. a lot. Now, there's a lot of substitutes. If you go mm-hmm. to, like, uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, mm-hmm. Whole Foods. They have, a, they have, you know, uh, what are the Beyond Burgers? Yeah, there's, so there's, there's oh, so many. I've sub- seen those. Yeah. yeah, yeah there's, I wanted to there's try a lot. Really I mean, there's a lot now of stuff, but. There's so much food that you can eat. So gram for gram, it's been proven. There's more protein in a bean than there is in a, in a gram of meat, red meat. What? But you don't get what you don't get with this. You don't get the cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> so no, yeah. no bread. Bread is, I mean, if uh, there's some vegan breads out there for sure. And here's the deal. Let me just say this again because I know y'all, are, y'all are like, like, screw bread. you, get out here. No, no. So I, I, was, I was almost going... You're going to say bread is okay. I can eat bread and an apple every day. I'm good. But here's the thing about it. The, the whole thing about it. If you're eating, just hold on. I'm going I'm to take this back. I'm going to make you feel better about yeah. this. So let's say that you're eating meat seven days a week. No. Right? Let's say you're no. eating fried chicken seven days no. a week. Oh, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying worst case scenario. Yeah. If you do one less day, so yeah. instead of seven, six, that's a win. And I yeah. say right. that to our patients because I want to, yeah. I always, we're really big on making sure patients don't think, I don't want to convert you to plant based. Not trying to freak them out. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. The goal is we healthier. want them to know. Yeah, we want them yeah. to live healthier because what's going to end up happening by by switching at least cutting out some of those foods, if not all of them, your BMI is going to drop. You're going to lose weight. You're going to cause less stress to your joints. You're going to feel better. You're going to have. So the other part about it is arthrosclerosis. Go back to that real quick. So arthrosclerosis when it and it builds up this plaque in the arteries, it hardens up the arteries. So whenever we whenever we have certain types of food, when we want to have more blood flowing to it, you want to eat certain foods like beets, for example, or uh-huh. arugula. Uh-huh. What that does, they 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 have they're high in nitric oxide. Yeah. What nitric oxide does, it's gas that causes vasodilation. What vasodilation is is when your arteries oh open up, and more blood can flow okay. through it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Isn't that laughing gas? 
nitrous oxide. Nitrous yeah. oxide is right. nitric oxide. Oh, no. oh, okay. 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 But it causes the it's the, the the cells the inner lining of the arteries. It causes them to open up so more blood can flow through oh. it. So when you have more blood flowing through, your cognitive thinking goes up. If you think of guys and girls who take these pre workouts, these nitric oxide pre workouts, the whole idea behind it is so they get more blood flowing as they're working out. And they get more veins flowing. You get more pumps. The downside to pre-workouts that have any yeah. kind of stimulants in there is they have anything that has you like your hembine or caffeine. Those have been proven they're vasorestrictors, so they take your arteries and they go, they close them down, which oh. makes your blood pressure skyrocket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we want blood flow. So what we did is we realized not all our patients are going to stick to a plant-based diet. So we were trying to come up with a supplement that we could partner up with, not that we were going to make money on or anything. We just wanted to tell our patients, here is a supplement you should take that you should take as a daily supplement. Um, but we couldn't find anything. Either it had caffeine in it, it was either underdosed or it had fillers and bullshit in it. Yeah. And so we realized the first thing we need to do is we wanted to create our own supplement. And we had no intention of taking it to the market. We wanted to take it to where we could just give our patients something. Right. right? Yeah. And so as we know, not every patient is going to stick to the diet of creating vasodilation and giving you more dense micronutrients. We realized if we can give them something they could take in the morning or at, at night, this is something that is going to help cause yeah. vasodilation. So it's going to open the arteries up, but not only is it going to open the arteries up along with a plant-based diet or just a healthier diet. Mm-hmm. Now, as the arteries are opening up, not only is just blood flowing through it, but we have dense micro rich mm-hmm. micronutrient rich blood flowing there. So now it goes back to what we we're saying. We wanted to, we wanted to create a solution for patients. We're feeding those stem cells with dense micronutrient rich blood. So, so is on. caffeine bad for you? Caffeine. So here's the deal. I mean, you know. You coffee, didn't like fly off the chair, so no, that's good. No, no, no. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> coffee. Like, yes. Drink. Coffee is not bad for you. A couple yeah. cups a day, it's the shit you put in there that makes it bad yeah. for you, right? It's the, yeah. the creamer and all that stuff. But there's coconut creamers. Oh, there's cashew creamers. There's yeah. almond creamers. There's all sorts of but stuff you can mix with it. <laughs> that some it's definitely sometimes it's well you got to think about it any of that stuff's an acquired taste when you've been eating cheese I, and all that stuff yeah. cause I che- like almond milk almond milk's great yeah you, you still got to watch some of these milks and some of these stuff are processed because okay. there's even some yeah. crappy vegan foods out there yeah. you see some of these really vegans careful. who are just fat and nasty and they're just so they look just check the label I'm assuming well check I just looked at as vitamins and B but B complexes awesome. D complexes and I mean, so would you take this like say for me I, i'm yeah. not i'm not a bodybuilder no so i so won't take that's, it for a no, workout no. <laughs> that's so that was the whole thing we wanted it to we were only making it for our stem cell patients <laughs> and uh know. you're gonna get big, you're gonna get king of dallas big oh my gosh. <laughs> um but no we take it for, <laughs> we take it as that was the whole thing is that when we were looking at nitric oxide supplements our patients are not bodybuilders or fitness people. They're patients that have heart problems. They're patients that are just everyday patients. And so what was cool about it is they can take that, they take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, ten o- eight to 10 ounces of water, or you can mix it with a smoothie, and then at night. And there's no so stimulants two in there. two times a day? Two times a day. Mm-hmm. If you're going to use it to work out, take two scoops an hour before you work out or any So just on a daily basis, what does it do? Like, do you feel different? Do you feel anything? So like, the, what happens? So this is what's been really, really cool. Yeah. I was about to I ask mean, that to you. Yeah. yeah, so we've had some patients because, you know, again, we know what it does based on what we put in there. But you know, the biggest proof is what we hear feedback wise, right? What do you hear? So yeah. we've yeah. had our patients talk about their cognitive thinking. They feel like their thinking is better. That's they're so sharper. Well. We um, need to take that. Like, <laughs> we brought <laughs> out we brought <laughs> some samples. We brought some samples. It helps with my ADD. <laughs> <laughs> Will it? So the, you got to think about it. Everything. When you have more blood flowing, everything works so much better because blood is flowing to it. Your yeah. cognitive thinking goes up, your heart's beating better, your workouts are better. Type 2 diabetic patients can take it. Yeah. Um, we've had patients who were taking it for migraines, like crazy <laughs> migraines. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, crazy and, and migraines. we've had some patients that were taking it because blood flow. You have more blood flowing to it. I mean, it's a game changer. They we've say had, that the migraine is like a straw. Yeah. And when you get a migraine, it goes like that. Pinched Just off. like that. Yeah. Her bl- migraines are bad. But think bad. about it. Yeah. So with that being said, you got more blood pinching off. If you have more blood flowing, it's going to work better. Oh, okay. We have guys that are taking it for, we've had a couple of guys take it for erectile dysfunction. I mean, like it's been, it's been taken what across about everything. hormones for someone my age? Like what about that? Well, it, anyone can take it. That but was I, what was cool. No, I mean, will it help? That's what well, I was going to ask if stem cell, like, is there any, is it just for like pain and stuff or does it help like if? somebody has cancer or is that more the eating stuff 
So the eating stuff, and I'll, you can talk about this one, but the eating stuff, I mean. It's the cancer it, stuff. So it's been proven. Yeah. Nutrition, like, and I just go back to plant-based nutrition. Yeah. My goal is not to turn anyone plant-based for vegan. I want to <laughs> yeah. really say that. It has been proven that plant-based nutrition has reversed phase four cancer. I've heard. It's reversed type two diabetes. Mm-hmm. It's reversed heart disease. It's reversed that. countless things because at the every at the end of the day. It has you know, reversed what stage cancer? Four. Four. Stage four. Four. It's been documented. I, I've seen. I've, I've read, seen a video. Actually, yeah, I cried too. my eyes out with the guy and the girl. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's documented. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the other part about Nuts. it is, you know, you know, a lot of people right now, when they start talking about, you know, you see, <laughs> see on labels, GMO, GMO, non-GMO, non-GMO, yeah. non-GMO, non-GMO, and soy's gotten this horrible rap that it's bad for men. It causes. Breast man cancer. boobs and breast cancer and it's it's crazy because there's no truth to it at all no. there's no studies that it's will support been debunked that. big what? time yeah. so i started hearing that too yeah and what we if what we i can tell you this whenever you see a study follow the money follow who's supporting that follow the dairy farmer association supported a paper like that because you know when people start doing soy milk all these things it's less sales for the dairy right mm-hmm. and so it, but what's really really interesting the fda has banned any type of gmo soy for human consumption so we they're not even allowed to sell it that way but it's nice to have the label on the milk and all the stuff but what's really interesting is 90 percent of the soy the gmo soy that is sold in the united states is sold to agriculture so for those of you who are eating red meat eating anything that's fed to the agriculture oh, you're getting so you're it in a roundabout anyway. way yeah. Yeah. Getting, but no one realizes that mm-hmm. they're just like i need my steak i need this because again, again <laughs> we're not asking the right questions that's right. and we're not informed and, and it's a multi, 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 multi billion dollars. <laughs> brainwashed. Yeah. 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 But, you know, you also look at the marketing, right? The marketing is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, right. drink milk. Like, yeah. I, we saw this. We were talking about this. Aaron and I, we saw this commercial when the Olympics were playing, uh, when the Olympics were going on, and they said dairy was the official drink of the Olympics. Yes, it was just bullshit. I saw it. Like, it's mm-hmm. insane. Oh, yeah. It was, no. it was insane. You guys crazy. must have freaked out. But yeah. Going well, on. I mean, we, the thing is, I think we realize. All the marketing stuff. So right. we don't freak out so much now because we're like, okay, yeah. that's bullshit. But the average person, they're not thinking that. Yeah. They're thinking some big athlete is doing this. And, oh, my God, I want to be just like him. And You're blinded. Oh, so I'm, I'm serious when I say this. The things that Bernie's describing, if you watch What the Health, mm-hmm. it will make so much more sense. You'll see these big meat companies, how they're sponsoring these big cancer centers. And, I mean, it's it's insane. It's That's insane. Can I ask a question actually. about that, insane. though? I always get confused because we have that, what you just said, but then that documentary, mm-hmm. how do we know that's not, like... Bias? Yeah, uh, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I'm yeah. just asking because I don't know what to believe yeah. anymore sometimes. Absolutely. No, yeah. I mean, sure, like, sure. Was a lot of things you can do you is can form your own opinion. That's a, it, yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. But, I mean, they're not... I mean, these guys spent countless, you know, I don't know how many months... Yeah. To, to make this movie, um, yes, the the guys that made it are plant based, but they're trying to wake people up. Right. Because as you help. grow yeah. up, you're you're like raised on milk and eggs and cheese and oh, no. all See, I don't these, eat eggs because either. you're feeding these huge companies, billion dollar companies, <laughs> and now they're just waking you up. It's, it's, wow. crazy. So it, it's crazy. Yeah. You ha- you have children. I have one son. Yeah. One son. Yeah. Does he eat all the junk food and all that? So Jet, my son, you know, his what mom. Cool name. Name. No, what a cool name. That's right. <laughs> yes, he's awesome. Jet Diamond. Uh, Jet Diamond. Oh, so <laughs> cute. I love those rhinestones. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, yeah, he's, got, he's prepared to be an athlete of some sort or nice. like a, or a porn star. One two, <laughs> <laughs> so, but no. First yeah, one. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to cross my fingers for the first one. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, Jet is very, when he's with me, he's plant-based. His mom is, is coming around. She's he's about probably 70, 80% plant-based, um, more like 60%, but she's aware of it, right? And uh, the, the thing that, I think the hardest thing for people when they hear plant-based is, like, like I know, <laughs> I see you freaking out. Uh, <laughs> she's like, no eggs. She's like, oh what my the God. hell? Oh, I don't like, I like meat more than eggs. Yeah. Well, I and, love but, meat, but y'all. Here's the thing. Like it's, I'm like, I feel like Ron Swanson in here, like always <laughs> eating me, and y'all are like, right. no. Y'all are, you're feeding me my foods. Food. I know, I'm like, <laughs> Oh no, well, the, the biggest thing that people have the confusion on is how do you do it, right? Yeah. Like, all right, yeah. if I'm gonna sure. get, how do I get my protein? And that was my biggest thing, too. When I transitioned to plant-based, I had no idea how to do it. And, I mean, my first night that I decided I'm going to give it a try, I think I bought, like, three or $400 worth of just 
anything I thought that was plant based. <laughs> and you know, once I started getting into it, and understanding it, I mean, I asked a lot of questions because I was really going to give it a try. Yeah, I, I wasn't. It wasn't anything that I'm like, okay, I have something, I have cancer, so I'm going to do this or. Yeah. Um, but I did. I did think well. If anyone's gonna get it, my brother, dad, my right. dad had it. I've done enough craziness mm-hmm. in my life. I should yeah, probably no, get it. No, smart. Um, I wanted to be proactive and try it. And yeah. I've had, and there's so many things like Aaron was saying. Like if you go to Central Market or if you go to Whole Foods, there's a whole full like section of plant based meats. Yeah, there's the yeah. Beyond the burger. Yeah. There's um, there's like plant based bratwurst. They taste exactly. <laughs> yeah. I've yes. heard that. They got plant based yeah. turkey, like what? for sandwiches. So is turkey not good for you either? No. Any meat <laughs> processed. Any meat. It's so processed. Really no, any you know meat Liz, at all? Or one chicken. of my best friends has Nothing. had breast not an cancer. animal. No oh animals. God. But That's she doesn't. So she became a um, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah. But she doesn't eat anything with a face. Yeah. That's always been her yeah. thing. Yeah. That's yeah. since um, Paul McCartney's wife, since yeah. Linda uh, McCarthy. Yeah. She started that, and so she did it, and she's been. So how uh, long have both of you yeah, been Yeah, having. I was wondering that. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple hours. Yeah, so a couple hours. I really believed you. <laughs> I was Aaron, like, okay, I'm going to eat my steak. I started this morning. <laughs> Starting <with> now. <laughs> when I'm done with my cheese sticks, I'm going. Oh, oh my gosh, I just say it. cheese sticks. Too. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. y'all are like, can we do tests on you? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I've been, uh, I've been, <laughs> I've been fully plant based since December, and uh, you know, it's I haven't, I haven't struggled with it. I will say my struggle <laughs> is Chocolate. sweets. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Say uh, it. I, are you allowed what, that? Yeah, you can oh. definitely. I mean, I mean, I don't deal. like that, but you know, when it comes yeah. down to that's mine's the sugar. Mine's the sugar. Yeah. Like when we were in LA a couple weeks ago, we were doing, a, we were doing a podcast out there, and every. <laughs> Every plant based restaurant I went to, I was the guy. I was like, all right, I'm stuffed. I want dessert. Like, yeah. no matter where you get, I just have a sweet tooth. So, um, you know, that's where I kind of struggle. <laughs> but I have a sweet plant set based, of teeth, plant not plant based just dessert you had. Too. That's the whole thing. Oh. There's, yeah. it's, there's tons of plant based desserts. You wouldn't even what? know. The what difference. is it? Well, no, there's there's plant based uh, chocolate cakes. There's plant based Cho- like there's instead of milk chocolate. That cannot rice. taste like Austrian food. I, am. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, don't I don't know. Just try it. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing: is I remember when. I'm I, just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. Like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I went with my son to uh, Central Market because I was like, all right, that was my biggest thing. Is like, all right, one of my big things is how do I make it to where I can make my son yeah. at least not feel like he's missing out or be like, I'm not tasting this or this is horrible. Yeah. And so I went to <laughs> Central Market and I bought everything possible, like junk food, and that was plant based. And so, and uh, he was good. He was totally good. And I mean, there's some. I won't lie. There's some plant based stuff that. You know, just like regular food that's n- I'm not a fan of. Yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, oh I mean, I make all my own stuff for the most yeah. part. So. so what happens if you are a parent? You would like for your children to eat better and you are in a hurry because as a parent, you're always having to go somewhere, do this, do this, and you have no time to food prep. Do you have children? I don't. I have one on the way. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. congratulations! Congrats! Yes. So Baby you're about boy. to get nice. to know this. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quick. Yeah. Yeah. And you gotta go crazy. Like stuff happens. You're busy with your work. You have all kinds of patients, and no one is food prepping. And now you have to take your child somewhere. And what do you do? They're bacon. starving. Bacon. <laughs> I was about to ask. Do y'all not leave? No, no so, really. Bacon. No, no, no. So what I do for me personally, what I do is I I'm big on. I just learned I need to feel food prep. Like I'll make food. And then I'll put it in sandwich bags and I will freeze it. And it makes it so easy because I can pull it out and microwave it. Um, but, like, I make my son a lot of smoothies. Yeah. So, and he loves it. Like, fresh fruit smoothies. He'll yeah. we'll do uh, berries and whatnot. I like those. Yeah, it's really good. And so, because I wanted to make sure there was enough dense micronutrients in there. And what I'll do is I will take, uh, like, a cup of berries. I'll take a little bit of pound apple. I'll banana. take a, a banana. Mm-hmm. I'll put, a, like, a half a cup of oatmeal in there. And then I blend it up. And he mm-hmm. drinks it every time. But there's also, I'll make them mm-hmm. plant-based pancakes, plant-based. Yeah. They got there's, tofu scrambled eggs. You wouldn't know the difference. I'm, I'm, I know it's it sounds kind of probably at first glance like, what the hell? I like tofu. Yeah. Yeah. Tofu is awesome for mm-hmm. you. Tofu, tofu is a, a great source of protein and just yeah. nutrients. I like it. It's really what good. What is it? I like tofu too, but like, then there was stuff this, about that too. Oh. But that's yeah. not good for you. What's so that? it's not true either? What, tofu? Tofu is there's nothing wrong with tofu. Awesome yeah. for you. Yeah. Awesome for you. People who, I mean, again... My, our big thing we talk about all the time with patients is follow the money. When you hear people talk okay. about like it's bad, it's this, follow who's supporting that that study. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to find out who it is, but um, 
you know, you, I get what you're saying earlier. Like, well, how do I know that the tofu people are right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, but, yeah. but also think about it from the standpoint of, you know, how much money. And I think we've all heard of this. But the other part of being plant-based is, or vegan and plant-based is, and this is a personal thing for me. This is, I never ever castrate people about this, but um, is, you know, caring for the environment and caring for animals. I'm a big, I mean, I have four animals and I mean, I'd get a goat and a pig and a dog. And, you know, like if I, could. I love goats. <laughs> but, I want um, one so bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, and again, this wasn't meant, this is not meant to be like a, I have no intention of converting anybody to it by any means. This is going to just me personally. That's you by PETA. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Follow it. My car does better than PETA. No. Um, but again, it's just an environment. It takes you know, thousands and thousands of liters of water for like eight to 10 ounces of steak. It's crazy. I mean, it's, people don't realize that. Yeah. So that the environment gets destroyed on that. It's oh, truly wow. crazy. And again, I don't want, I mean, I'm sure the people listening to this, I, please don't <laughs> send me a bunch of messages. Like I'm not trying to, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. environmentalist. This is just my personal deal and I'm not trying to convert anyone to it. But, um, you know, and I mean, I can see people now being like, oh, screw you, the meat. But um, that's the personal thing for me. And then again, I mean, pigs and cows and all that, if you've ever seen some of the videos, you'll see. Can't even wait, yeah. wait till you wait, wait till yes. you guys watch watch this. You'll show. see some of these pigs and cows that they're shaking in fear. And again, oh, oh, no. like that. and they're <laughs> all cooped up. I'm like, I know, no I know. I'm like, I'm so torn. They're what? I love they're cooped up. I love cooped me. up, like the pigs and stuff. Like they can't even move. Mm. Like they're just like they don't That's know what sad. to think. And it is the same with the fish. My mom told me about that. She fish. said they fish that so, they are like in these. They're held in these. Containers well, yes. and it is and really, really fed. disturbing. And it's crazy what they feed these yes. fish, and then you eat the fish, yes. and you're eating and absorbing yes. what I, the yeah, food. So my mom just loves sushi. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, so, but we, but we, 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 I just, I love sushi. Man. Oh no, that was my passion. Uh, but you think you about loved it. it, and now you don't like it. Mm-mm. Think about it though. Whenever we hear, <laughs> I just Gina will love hate this it. <laughs> so, but here's the thing: I mean, even if you, if you're eating it here and there, it's nothing to the world, right? Mm-hmm. You're only, you know, helping to end the world, but I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Congratulations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way to ruin the world, Marcella. No, but. I don't need any more hate. <laughs> 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 she uh, wears swimsuits. She, like, oh, she eats meat. And she's ruining the world. Go figure. <laughs> Freaking dancers. Oh, my God. Hashtag sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, again, it goes, <laughs> it goes back at the end of the day. Um, our mission is not to get anyone convinced to be plant-based or anything. That's just our whole deal. But, yeah. you know, going back to the original topic of with stem cell therapy. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was just, just, just going to yeah. go back there and yeah. go, okay, really for the listeners that yeah. need this. Yeah. Like, so, tell us what the steps are, what to get in contact with you. Yeah. Like, say, Marcella is in via back pain all the time yeah most so, of her life so no, she absolutely. goes calls you and goes i need an evaluation so next step the first step is you know for, we want to get patients in and we want to make sure that they are uh do an evaluation because not everyone is a candidate for stem cell therapy we do free evaluations we don't um, if you bring an mri and imaging we, we I mean mm-hmm. mri is a key right we want to try to get an mri that's no longer than 12 months old do you have one? Mm-hmm. yeah yeah. So we bring that in. We do an evaluation on you. We read the radiologist report. Um, at that point, if you it's determined you're a stem cell candidate, then we move forward. We go over the different uh, pricing and whatnot. That's when we discuss all of that. Okay. Um, we partner with a, a group that does the financing because stem cell therapy, as we know, is not covered by insurance. As anyone who says it is, they're lying to you. Um, but we partner with a group that will finance treatment up to five for five years, sixty months. They do zero interest for six months. Uh, there's different plans. We discuss that all do through the, the evaluation. At that point, if it's determined that that's the route you want to go, we then set the date. And then it's as it's, it's easy as that. What's cool about it is you go in that morning. It takes about an hour to do it. Right from there, we take you right to our rehab, which is in the same building. And, and just to touch on this, we do uh, regenerative rehabilitation. So we do infrared light therapy. Um, oh. Infrared light therapy mm-hmm. is shown to reduce inflammation. Um, it's also shown to uh, cause vasodilation, causing more uh, blood flow to the area of injury or to where the cells are. And so when you're done with your stem cell therapy, we take you to our facility, uh, to our physical therapy clinic. We do uh, rehab, and that's the, and that's the you're done in about an hour and a half. And the cool thing about it is you're in and you are out. 
So yeah. you don't have to keep coming back. No. Mm-mm. No. So and that's you why you can if you want to continue with the rehab, you mm-hmm. can use your insurance. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so oh. the rehab is covered by insurance. Rehab is covered by insurance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And so. Oh wow! So it's, you don't have to keep getting stem cell stuff done. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's just one time. You may, so the, it's supposed to. You may a, have to every you know year and a half do mm-hmm. like a booster, like a PRP, which is a growth factor injection, where we pull. I did that blood. on my face. Yeah, the PRP. That's the exact same thing. We yeah. pull up the veins, blood yeah. from your veins, uh-huh. process it, and we can inject it into your joint, your back, or whatever. And so you know, stem cells will technically, they'll, they'll typically shut, studies have shown that they will start regenerating up to eighteen months, like continuously. So how fast would someone like my friend who had knee surgery? Some crazy, got a crazy staph infection, mm. and it's been a nightmare for him for the last like year and a half, almost two years. He's in severe pain all the time, swells up all the time. He's had several surgeries after that. It was terrible. And he just has given up because he's done everything. He's done the Reiki thing. I mean, everything that you can think Did of. Did he ever replaced? No, he doesn't want the replacement, okay. right. but he would like for it. Painful. Pain so, would he be like yeah. a perfect candidate be, for you guys? Absolutely. And well, so, I mean, we don't see an evaluation room first, but right. yeah, it but sounds then like then say good thing, he comes there and you do that. How fast would you say he would have relief? That's a great story. I mean, it's a great question. And so, we typically, I'd say four weeks before we start seeing some patients with relief, we did have a patient who <laughs> he was a bilateral knee, so he did both his knees. And this guy was an avid, avid bike rider. And so, mm-hmm. he was young mid 40s early 50s young young guy and uh he came did his <laughs> stem cell therapy and we tell every patient six weeks do nothing don't do anything don't do strenuous anything. give yeah. it six weeks before you can start getting into light activity <laughs> because because we want because most the thing is most patients are doing nothing at that point there's uh, okay. so much pain they're not doing anything okay and when i say light activity I mean, you can walk, you can do your stuff, but don't work out, don't squat, don't do like this, right. don't Marcella. be dancing. Yeah. I would have a really hard time with that <laughs> Six one. weeks, Marcella, just six weeks. Oh, God. Um, but then what ended up happening is, you know, I we reach out to our patients. We're, we're good about every couple of days. Just want to see how you're doing, right? Mm-hmm. And so he did his treatment on a uh, Friday. And on Sunday, I reached out to him. I was asking how he was doing. He was like, man, I'm feeling good. I'm, how are your knees feeling? He's like, man, I'm not, I'm not feeling any pain. Which I'm like, all right, that's not super common. He's a minority uh, as opposed to the majority. He's like doing housework, and he's yeah. like, you know what? I don't have any pain. Yeah. So wow. like he, he didn't even think about it until yeah. we, we followed up with him. He was like, <laughs> three or four days later, I reached back out to him, like, hey, how are you doing? Same thing. He's like, I'm feeling really good. So awesome, right? A couple weeks later, two, three weeks later, I uh, I reach out, and he's doing really good. I happen to see him in, my cl- in our clinic. So we're seeing him in the clinic, and he, uh, Turns out he was feeling so good he did a twenty mile bike ride. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, that's so, that guy. Oh. Oh. So uh, this is like three or four weeks after, like three or four weeks after he did his stem cell treatment. Now so we are our guideline is six weeks. Now we can't make anyone do anything. Yeah. It's like right. we're recommending you destroy your about to die, cut mm-hmm. yourself off, do it for six weeks. Yeah. So I, of course, I'm like, man, how are you doing? Are you all right? He's like, no, I feel great. Like, what's painful? Your knees? He's like, no, my butt from sitting on the seat for 20 miles. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so what was crazy, though, is I saw every week I'm following up with him because mm-hmm. he's doing our physical therapy. And so two or three weeks later, I happen to run into him in clinic. He's sweating because we work our patients out. And uh, he is, I'm like, you know, how are you doing? He's like, I'm doing great. I'm like, so, you know, how's your bike riding? Like, I'm, yeah. like saying that as a joke, basically. He's like, well, did a 42-mile bike ride. Which oh is not the, God. I mean, yeah. So, and I'm really concerned, like, dude, my <laughs> knee's completely pain free. and He's had no pain since. Now, the average patient, it's about three to four weeks before they start seeing some symptoms mm. and signs of relief. And just like Aaron says, it's typically one of those things where they wake up, they're like, oh, shit, I don't. I don't and every oh, patient's oh gosh, different. So every, awesome. every, every patient's different. Yeah. You know, it depends on the pathology. If it's, a, I mean, some people come in that have been in car accidents or way worse than somebody with just joint pain. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, it's, it, it just depends. But going back to it, what most clinics are doing are just injecting, and that's it. Our yeah. approach is no one is doing it like that. It's a bunch of things. Good for together. you guys. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's Where cool. are you guys located? So we're in Plano. Yep. And uh, oh, we're right off George Bush in Coates. Yep. Oh, 4090 here. Maple Shade Lane. Um, Plano 75093. And we're through Jevity Stem Cell Institute. Literally, like down the street. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. check it out. So yeah. you need to go. For yeah. It. yeah. That's cool. cool. We're back. I'm coming and I'm going to video too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do there a field trip. Come do it. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. That'd it's be fun. super, super cool. I would love that. Yeah. yeah. It is really cool. Um, our, we have a gorgeous facility and uh, they're really, we're, we really have set ourselves apart. I think the uphill battle that we face is dealing with these other clinics that are, you know, snake oiling it to people. Mm-hmm. They're selling the snake yeah. oil. And again, it's at the cost I of get patients. your work, word out. I mean, we got to constantly talk about it. Yes. Yeah. Um, I want to go. Make sure. <laughs> I know, have to look definitely. At my knees. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I feel like we, we haven't even finished anything. Like, I, I know. Like, I know. <laughs> you're going to have to come I back. I still don't now. know, yeah. Aaron. Yeah. I want to know Part more. Two. Yeah. So you, Part two. What, when is the baby due? Uh, October. First week of October. Are you married? Um, I'm engaged. Engaged. Yeah, Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So thank, very exciting. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. Yay. Um, Bernie, you are. I'm very Dating. single. Very single. <laughs> <laughs> His number is. You can find me. Oh, yeah, right. You can find me on Tinder. Like, but... <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat is. Uh... Snapchat Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just have my uh, six-year-old son, and uh, he turns seven next month. I'm very Aww. excited. Right? He's Aww. precious. He's I, awesome. I saw him on Facebook. Yeah, very he, cute. Uh, it's so funny. He broke his elbow the last day of school. No. He felt like, oh. I'm talking an hour or two before. For school. Oh and then, man! Uh, he was uh, so bummed, but to, and uh, we didn't realize he broke it for about two or three days, and so we took him to the ER, and uh, he went got it referred to a pediatric orthopedist, and man, they wrapped, they gave him a cast, and they he had the uh, it was a waterproof cast, and oh. of all the different things, he got it wrapped in like this cap, this uh, United States flag, so he thought he was like he called it Captain America. Oh, yeah, he was so proud deal. of it. It was like the <laughs> so <laughs> can shield. you help him? With the stem cells. That's about yeah. My son. Yeah. So it's really interesting when you get to pe- like very pediatric cases. You know, we typically are not going to do something like that because in in children, pediatrics and stuff, there's growth back. There's growth plates, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And we don't want to disrupt the growth plates for sure. Uh, it's not know. something in our clinic that we deal with yeah. in pediatric cases. So if right. you think about it, you know, when you're born and then by the time you're 80, so kids heal so quick. Yeah. They have yeah. tons of stem cells in their body. Yeah. They're, they're, they bounce back. Even with surgery, they bounce yeah. back super fast. So it's really not a necessity. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. That just wow. Well, this was an awesome show. It was. Yeah. Thank I you loved guys. it. Thank, Thank you so much for coming and bringing you. us samples. Yeah, yeah. So let me tell you real quick about yeah. this. I was so going to ask. I want to try it. Yeah. For you, you guys. Yeah. So cool. what you want to do is take it first thing in the morning. Right. Okay. Yeah, just one scoop. There's a scoop in there. It is a little bit of sour flavoring in there, but it's the red beets. Um, mix it with like juice. You can mix it with a smoothie. Yeah. Um, and then take it at night. It's, there's no stimulants in there, so it won't keep you up. Um, mm-hmm. You will feel the other feedback we've had is a lot more energy. Um, on the days you're going to go dance or work out, mm-hmm. take two scoops an hour before. Okay. And okay. again, don't take any, don't take anything caffeinated or stimulant wise. Just see what you feel. Let me yeah. know. Yeah. Because I'd be curious to get your feedback yeah. there. Yeah. But um, we've got I want to so cool. do one more thing. Yeah. yeah. Bernie. <laughs> Please show us your amazing hand. <laughs> this is oh, just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I know. Look I will this. show it to you. It has fingernails and everything. That this is fingernails incredible. are much nicer than mine. They actual are. Nails. They're like <laughs> so great. Oh, so, and look this hair. Yeah, so all those hairs are painted. How long have you had this? Oh, since, oh wait. So 10 years. This is unbelievable. Not this one, but yeah. it's, it's all carbon fiber. And, um, Does it did, rub there? Does no, it bother you at all? all? No. Oh, I can move Where did you get it? So the place that I went to, that's still good. Where'd you get it? Where'd, where'd <laughs> you no, get it? No, my no, cousin. Amazon. My cousin Amazon. has a prosthetic <laughs> leg. <laughs> yeah. And he's 18, 19. So he's growing. Yeah. And he has to like replace Every it Every three years, lot, Medicare so. will, the guidelines of Medicare will replace a prosthetic device. So the place I was going to, that I still go to, that I used to work at, it's called Advanced Arm Dynamics. They're in Irving. Okay. And they're specialists. They only deal with upper extremity prosthetics. Oh, oh. They're, they're awesome. They're yeah. awesome, awesome. But they also, they don't just do the prosthetic uh, care. They do... Uh, they do physical therapy or occupational therapy. They do professional counseling because mm-hmm. a lot of the patients, when they lose an upper extremity limb, it's due to trauma. If they mm-hmm. lose a leg, it's due to usually like diabetes as the big uh, killer for mm-hmm. loss of lower limb. He got limb. hit by a truck yeah. on a four wheeler. Wow. What, yeah. yeah. He lo- Ugh, this is crazy. Motorcycle. Oh, that's motorcycles yeah. were huge for people who lose legs big time wow. or any kind of yeah ATV yeah. types of deal. But um, is there something like that that somebody can get for their leg? Do you know? Yeah. Have, yeah. Yes. So yeah. they have these. Uh, they have these legs that if you're like an above knee amputee, they're, His is they're below. I think they got to save the knee. Yeah. That was the big thing. Yeah. Because functionality. Think it's like, absolutely. Right. Yeah. 
But if you're someone who's above the knee, they have these electronic computerized knees that will actually walk for you. It's the crazy. Oh, that's unbelievable. Awesome. Yeah. And, it, and it, it works with your gait. So just your natural movement, it'll walk with it. It's pretty wow. cool. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. So that's crazy. It just gets, I mean, that's the whole thing. Technology gets cooler and cooler and cooler. Mm-hmm. And cooler. Yeah. So, I mean, they have hands. Like, I have one hand that each finger will move individually. And then, oh, cool. uh, yeah. What? I can flip people off and say, it's a malfunctioning <laughs> finger. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's flipping you off on its own. I have no idea why. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. I can know, you bring so. that one next time? I will. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I sometimes feel like the most interesting man in the world when people are like, yeah. hey, tell me about it. And so, um, yeah. Wow. It's thank you guys. Please amazing. give yeah. you a social you handles, please. Again. Social. Yeah. Media handles. So, so re, our Rejevity Stem Cell Institute, again, at, uh, at Rejevity Stem Cell on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, Bernie underscore Diamond on Instagram for me, and then Bernie Diamond And because on he's Facebook. single. I need to That's have right. to follow the, that thing. Yeah. Your Rejevity, right? Is that I how did. I say it? Yep. I need to do that. I don't think I do. You I should do. follow it. I am going to. You <laughs> should follow it. Tell all your friends. Yeah, uh, yeah, we will. We will. Yeah, no, it's anyone who's having. If if anyone is thinking about surgery, if you're really, if you're having any kind of injuries, if you you know that you have a meniscus tear or any kind of soft tissue tear. I wish uh, I knew this. My <laughs> best friend, she's 23 too. Mm-hmm. She just got knee surgery. Oh yeah, gosh. like four days ago. Because here's oh the, my here, gosh. It's yeah. the crazy thing. Here's the worst case scenario. When you, and and again. What we don't want to do is put this false hope that, hey, get a stem cell treatment and it's guaranteed it's not. Yeah. But neither surgery. But yeah. once you get in there and you cut, you cannot yeah. uncut. Mm-hmm. I mean, once you get in there and you cut the skin and you cut into the capsule and then you get yeah. in the soft tissue, you have to do any bony work. Even if you go in there and someone's saying, hey, we'll go in there arthroscop- arthroscopically and we will clear up some of the you know the cartilage yeah. or whatnot, yeah. you're still messing with internal mechanism there. Yeah, yeah. And so with stem cell therapy, it's a great in between to really avoid that because again, once you've gone into there and cut it open, disruption. you're prone to infection, you've disrupted it. Yeah. Um there's a lot of bad you stuff. Can you can always still do that if Absolutely. this doesn't work. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And wow. so then and the other last thing and I'll, I'll stop at this point, but yeah. I think the other thing that people get the very big misconception is they go through deductibles. What I mean by that is like, mm-hmm. well, my insurance covers yeah. The surgery, and my deductible yes. is $3,000, and what people don't, it's crazy what people don't understand. What they don't understand is once you've hit your deductible $3,000 or $2,000, in their, the mindset of people thinks, I'm good at that point. But it's not how it goes. It's usually a 70-30, 80-20, mm-hmm. 90-10. Yeah. There's a few insurance plans that pay it 100%, meaning that once you've hit your $3,000 deductible, your insurance will pay 70% of it. You still are responsible for 30% of it. Wow. So mm-hmm. what that means is on a surgery – like a total knee is the average price of a total knee is about fifty five, sixty thousand yeah. dollars. So if you sometimes have a deductible, <laughs> sometimes so if you have a deductible of three thousand dollars, and your total knee is fifty thousand dollars, and your insurance yeah. pays for seventy percent of it, you still have percentage. So now your three thousand know, dollar deductible is significantly increased. And there's also times we will get we you will get a bill from your anesthesiologist because yeah. they bill separately they're not in the network because typically most patients don't know to ask is that anesthesiologist in my network they just that's the, the preferred anesthesiologist the doctor wow. wants to use and you're hospital. stuck using it or through yeah. the hospital then you're not including your physical therapy then you're not including your prescription drugs and then these are things that people don't think yeah. about right. I would never think about that and then what if it doesn't work and then you're down for weeks if not months and then I mean there's there's yeah. lots of stuff that people just don't think about so think about those things wow. yeah. Yeah. but yeah reach out to us we do free evaluations um, we'll go everything with you and go from there that's Sending awesome my friend yeah. to you for sure Marcella yeah. to you yeah. for sure thank you yes, thank, thank you guys, guys. have a wonderful Appreciate week it.